ultrasonic leak detector. As you can see, it's very sensitive to sound. All right, so now we're going to say that we're gonna use the ultrasonic leak detector in a place where it's saturated with refrigerant, so a standard electronic refrigerant leak detector will not work. Now you see how high? I'm just pointing towards the leak. So you cannot hear this leak with your ears. The pressure in the system, 68 PSI. Let me. You see how sensitive that is? Okay, so I maxed it out. So I'm gonna turn down the sensitivity. There's a sensitivity lever here. So I'm gonna bring it down. I'm gonna put it almost all the way down for sensitivity. Shit, that was, I always do that. That's how I mess up my uh, tanks. Okay, so now you see I pointed here and it barely moves up. So what I did was I turned down the sensitivity See that as I point towards the leak? And we know, now in my ears I have the headphones and it's whistling in my ears. It basically sounds like the ocean. So that finds that leak, no problem at all. And that leak is right there. And that is where it's leaking from. So that's why when you cannot use a standard electronic refrigerant leak detector because the area is completely saturated um, or maybe it's too windy and the wind is blowing away the refrigerant from a smaller leak and you can't use a standard uh, electronic leak detector. This is where this shines. This is better under those circumstances. All right, that's it for this one. We are going to chain some O-rings. Okay.